Hello, and welcome back. So, last week we, let's see, finished up with Ostgar, gave, gave King Kaelin a uh, proper funeral pyre, made a brief stop off at Plymouth's hut to kill her, and then came back to Soldier's Peak to give a sword forged from a meteor we found. Drop a bunch of stuff off in the storage chest. So, I'm realizing one thing about the uh, that crater is that it looked like it's supposed to be fairly recent if there was a living child still in it. And also, I'm not sure what effect a meteor that size would actually have. I kind of get the impression that it would have been a little bit more. Dangerous. But anyway, we're going to. This week, we're going to go back to Denrim to investigate why someone is trying to kill Liliana. I'm going to briefly stop off at camp to change up the party. Um, no, I can't see a reason to actually have Severin. Shory. There's a reason for this. Back to Denrim. That seems safe. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. Yes, that's kind of why we're here. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one heart. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Who have given their love to false gods. Magic exists. I suppose you just have to go do some shopping. Uh, okay. Uh, where are your mother and father? <laughs> Puppy! <laughs> no, you can't keep him. I think that's the only thing that involves jewelry. I do need to go to another noble. Dwarven craft. Find Hi, Dwarven craft. Direct from Orzammar. Won't find better. It will be done. Hi. 
A little bird told me one of Logan's friends had an accident. Terribly unfortunate. You might want to look in the chest behind me. There might be something of interest. Oh yes, here's a reason to bring... Those houses over there, right? that, that's Jenna TV's house. Don't need to go back there. Hello. My client appreciates your generosity. Where is this again? Western side of Western side of the market district. Oh wait, no, this side. I mixed up East and West, yay. So lovely to see you again, my dear. Spare me the pleasantries. I know you're... Oh, you must excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like wet dog everywhere. I cannot get this smell out. Even now, it is in my hair, my clothes. Ugh. Appropriate wine there, Jory, just as she's complaining about the country smelling like wet dog. Why did you send the assassins after Liliana? So business like your companion. You framed me, had me caught and tortured. I thought that in Ferelden I would be free of you, but it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Why do you want me dead so badly? Dead? Nonsense. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see, here you are. You could have just sent her a letter. Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. It is you think I did not know where you were. Did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought? The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Uh, this is not her. 
You were planning something, I told myself. So I watched. But no letters were sent, no messages. You barely spoke to anyone. Clever, Liliana, very clever. You almost had me fooled. But then you left the Chantry so suddenly. What conclusion should I draw? You tell me. You think I left because of you? You think I still have some plan for... for revenge? You are insane. Paranoid. Liliana is helping the Grey Wardens, that is all. Oh, is that what you think? If I were you, I would believe nothing she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend, trusting and warm. It is an act. I am not you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? It is because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power it gave you. You cannot change or deny this. She shouldn't have to listen to you. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. So, something realized that the, this shot is framed so such that to make sure that, you know, I'm correctly in the shot. I'm also a head shorter than either of these two. So, well, Morgan is okay because she's standing behind us. Liliana is, looks a little bit silly. You know she will hound you as long as she lives. You've caused too much pain for too many, Marjolaine. It ends here. And you think you can kill me like that? I made you, Liliana. I can destroy you just as easily. We will need... ...to fight you. Jory, somehow consume health. Yes. What? She's dead. 
She's dead because of me. I... I need some time to myself. We... will talk later. Yes. Very well. So, that might be, you know, proof that fighting, like, you know, within a city is kind of terrible. Interesting. So that's taken care of. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go briefly back to the As camp, you and then there are a couple of things to do in the Brazilian. Oh. There's some Konari mercenaries to get rid of. And getting rid of the Canary Mercenaries? Yes. And Shayo. Mm -hmm. Are we inter We are interrupted. One thing. All right. Of course. And onward.
so. Oh, put those all in storage. All right. suitably difficult. It seems kind of unfortunate to uh, kill those mercenaries though. I can't go through there? Can I go through there? Am I... Okay, good. It's where the witch got stuck. And we'll off to the Brazilian forest. Yeah, it feels kind of unfortunate that we're killing mercenaries when you know it might be better to pay them to uh Fight for a... I have never heard of a thing called a Kunari. Then you have not been listening. You did not row to shore last year. We have been about for centuries. I have listened. I have done little else, in fact. And yet I do not remember anyone mentioning such a Kunari in all my years in the village. Relying on humans as a source of education is a fool's errand. They are rather ignorant, aren't they? And feeble, at the best of times. We have creatures on Parvolan that are similar. The humans call them monkeys. They are dull, cowardly vermin. They cry out shrilly when threatened and throw their own feces. That is an excellent comparison. I wonder if they are related. Possibly. <laughs> See? I like that. It's sort of thing where you never really know what you're going to get in this, because... Are there scrolls? Oh. Interesting. So, sort of, uh, I, think, I think I actually talked about earlier episode where the question of like, you know, what exactly the cladistics or evolution of this, of the various groups in this setting would be. I mean, how related are dwarves to humans to Canari to the elves? So, you know, what exactly is the relation to the darkspawn to all of these? I think there's also a record of the dwarves having fought a war against a group that was just defined as the scaly ones. But this was like back, back sometime during the uh, Elven Empire. So, you know, like 8,000 years ago or something. It will. Is this this is Pierce or we need to go? Oh wait, uh, yeah. Yes.
leave until I have a little equipment ready. Fire an arrow over the trees. Message has been sent. Right. You've made some important enemies with your little arrows. You're through. Again, unfortunate that we're having to fight and kill these guys instead of, you know, we will need to fight. Ah! Briefly go back to the Dalish camp and switch up the party a little bit because if we're going to go up against mages, having someone who's a little bit more resistant to magic would be good. And possibly also, as much as I, as much as I like Morgan, I kind of need to have someone who's better at healing. So, fashion and magic crap. Yes. 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 I think that's where the one guy's, Dalish guy's wife had been standing, but apparently she just disappears, you don't know? conclude that. That, um, before you, uh, conclude the main quest in this area. Talk to these guys. Hi. You are not welcome here. I'm here on behalf of the Mages Collective. Doing the Templars' dirty work for them, eh? Templars or Mages, it means nothing to us. There is dark power here. And you won't stand in our way.
As you say. Died, but yeah, I guess that was well. As you say. While I'm here, I'm gonna go talk to the rhyming tree again. See what this has to say. Greetings to thee once again. Thou hast not yet left the forest then? Hmm. Well, you know, I was just in the area and thought I'd say hi. As you say. You can command it anywhere to intercept enemies who go to your after your mage. Except you can't. You can tell them to attack. Heck and they'll like at, wait until the enemy stops moving. Which is usually when they start attacking your mage. Uh. Why do you keep looking at me like that, mage? I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to stare. I've never seen a Kunari before. You can blink once in a while. I'll still be here. Hmm. Pretty salty there. Alright. Where are we going next?
interrupted again. What's it this time? Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! Dark spawn. Very impressive, not sure what spell that is. Yes. Hi, how's it going? I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. Yes, that's the terrible power of magic at work, and also, you know, kind of proving that the purpose of the these circles, the original well. purpose, at least, being to train mages to fight will be done. lights, is rather effective. Okay, let's see if we can think. I think this woman is in the chantry. I thought that windmills needed a little bit more in there. Sales. But, uh, uh. All right. Let's see. Can we? Apparently, we can. Just let's see if this works. What? Why did I stop? There you are. Hi. I have terrible news for you. Yes? I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Regulars. All right. Let me take a look. Why? What did he do to deserve this? Oh, there's a book here. Date is coming. Why are all the pews stacked up over here? 
It will be done. The captain sends his regards. You know, you could have just done that yourself. She was just over there. something extra for friendship thank you anything more to do Switch here uh, at this point. Yeah, I'll switch. Fourth fashion lasted. Indeed. But she also have crystals in right now. Yes. Indeed. And we're interrupted. We must strike with what? Good
sorry, I couldn't stop more of your from dying. I guess the other one's just kind of left. Our tribe fights for you, Warden. Thank you. And we continue on. Yes, there is but one role, one life, one... Good to see you, Warden. Fighting the good fight, eh? I'd like to ask you some questions. I'm more of a man on a mission type. Chit chat's boring if you ask me. Tell me about yourself. Used to do a bit of second story work in my day. But besides that, you don't need to know anything about me. And I already know all I need to know about you. Makes for a healthy partnership, eh? Can you help me get into the palace district? No. The Royal Guard would spot you on sight. The Palace District sits atop a tall mesa. Steep cliffs. Only one way in. And that's how they like it. No any good places to break in? I'm following up a lead in the Palace District. I know you can't get in now, but you never know. If it all works out, it'll make you a legend. Dwarven craft. Find dwarven craft. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Alright, here we go. What can I get you, stranger? I finished a favor for one of your interested parties. What can I get you, stranger? Heard any rumors? There's been a battle out at Winter's Breath. Several of the Benorm banded together and fought against Lagang's men. Maybe a thousand on the field, all told. Tian Logang won the day, it said, but there were heavy losses on both sides. It's a fight for the throne, just like in the old times. Anything else you need? Anyone need to help? Maybe something not strictly legal? Continue. I just tried fucking with him when I have Zevran in. Find everything you need. We're good. Of course. It's two percent melee critical chance. Not really useful. Find everything you need. We're good. Oh, I expected that to be more interesting. few words. Oh, hey, there's a book right there. On 
Vivara. Wow, the ambient sound makes them really busy, but there's no one but serving staff in here. Interesting map. Wonder who that is. more for that. Mm. So it says Cam on the red side. It's Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Yes. Warehouse possibly in here? Oh, there he is. There are a bunch of books here which I apparently haven't read. As you say. This is probably going to be going straight into combat, so you... Hi, guy. I knew this was coming. Spent all the coin preparing, so I ain't dying over it.
That's taken care of. people and then no. talk to some people then call it hey Jory what do you have to say Sits down in his chair, should be attentively. Pet jury. Ah, oh, good dog. Hey, Zephyr. Here I am. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Why did you want to be with crows exactly? Well, now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? But what would you rather do? Now that you mention it, I am not entirely certain. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. And that system works? Of course. You compete against your fellow assassins, and those who survive are rightfully proud of it. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. It gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I think I understand. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. Do you think that will change? Everything changes, my friend. Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Find your dexterity? Cool. Alright. Win, do you have anything to say to me? What's on your mind? I can ask you something about the circle. I will answer to the best of my ability. Why didn't you want to stay in the tower? The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so much left to do, and I would be part of it. I am glad for your company. The Grey Wardens, all two of you, Need all the help you can get. I will see this through to the bitter end. And after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. I am sure you'll be able to return, if you so choose. Perhaps. Hmm. 
Brilliant. Anna, what do you have to say? Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? You just look a little distracted. It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. Do you share? I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. Is there anything I can do? You are already helping so much by listening to me. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? What if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. Admittedly, for the amount that I'm actually making use of you? Probably. So that's an interesting little collar she's wearing. It's not actually like a choker, but interesting. But you said the Maker wanted you to leave. Alright, she would have attacked you there eventually. Yeah. Maybe, but that is not the point. I was a different person there. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. It's already happened. When we killed her, I... I enjoyed it. Seeing her dead gave me satisfaction. She did you a great injustice. But that is no reason to rejoice over her death. That is what she would do. I don't want that. What we're doing. What we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. Angeline chose who she became, so can you. How can you be so sure? You strive to be good, and that's what's important. Do you really think so? Hearing you say that gives me comfort. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Alistair. Hi. Ask away. I have some questions. Of course. Tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. I have no more questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. Ask away. I have some questions. Of course. Can you teach others to be a Templar? Others, yes. But not yourself. I need someone who's trained first as a warrior. It's as much about discipline as anything. I guess if I'm going to give up Chantry secrets, I may as well go all the way. Send whoever you want trained to me in camp, and I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you. Pretty sure I already had that specialization unlocked, but anyway. Stand. Yes. Discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. <laughs> That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. Very well. Good talk. As you wish. Shale. Oh. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. Are those crystals in your skin? I like to think of them as accessories. 
I know if all golems have them. But what do they do? I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. I, I know if it's a dwarven thing. That still doesn't explain anything. As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap at will. But they can do other things too? Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Would you be willing to have more added? Why not? I don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures, after all. That answers its question, I assume? Unless it has more. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we could find someone to make you more clothes. I mean, it'd probably be enough material to make a tent, but... You watch that village day and night for years. I do not sleep, so yes. And I thank it for reminding me. Try to imagine, if it will, what it would be like to be surrounded by nothing but boring peasants, all oblivious to it. Yes, that would be rather horrid. And then there were the birds. A whole village full of pigeons and ravens and sparrows all perching on me day in and day out. The curious thing is, I understand pigeons were basically bred by humans and trained and apparently for so long that at a certain point we just kind of abandoned them because we didn't need them anymore. That and they're managing to survive in our cities, but they're not terribly good at it. Sounds a little messy. Those foolish villagers would spread bird seed near me, drawing the birds, because they thought having birds perch on me was quaint. Quaint! If there hadn't been the occasional kind soul to scour me clean, I would... I would... I don't care to discuss this anymore. That is entirely fair. Morgan. I wish to ask a question of you. Go ahead. I wish to know your opinion of love. My opinion? You and I have been intimate, for one. We have been close for some time now. You are impressive in many ways, and you even protected me from Flemeth without hope of reward. I feel anxious when I look upon you. I dislike this sense of dependency. It is a weakness I abhor. If this is love, I wish to ascertain that you do not feel the same. Are you saying that you love me? No, that's not what I'm saying. You need to pay attention. What I'm saying is that I have been foolish. I have allowed myself to become too close. This is a weakness. Love is not a weakness. You are not listening to me. Do not be such a fool. This is for your own good. I would not... I am not like other women. I am not worth your distraction. And you are not worth mine.
You are worth my distraction. I... you are impossible. Have it your way, but I will tell you truly now. You will regret it in the end. So, this is where I'm going to call it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do any relevant things with YouTube's buttons, and I shall be back in a week with more content.